I followed an inspector from Omega Pest Inspections all over my crawl space. It was pretty disgusting, but what I learned will save me thousands of dollars. You know what? There's plenty of dry rot in all of this, pretty much. Um, looks like all the uh, all the, sh the boards beneath the uh, the shingles uh, rotted out at this area. A little bit of damage to the rim joist. The rim joist, it looks like. So that's where it was leaking under the porch, like the concrete broke. Ah. So I think over the years it's just been rotting and rotting. All right, looks and like the subfloor, subfloor damage, a, 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 oh, yeah. a floor joist as well. Floor joist, subfloor, rim joist, sheathing at this corner. I mean, it doesn't look like anything recent. Anything like that just like an accumulation of damage from throughout the years all right so yeah we're gonna document this whole little corner uh and yeah we're gonna say still some some existing damage or what i do is kind of try to evaluate all of this and come up with like the a price to give you an idea of what it would cost um, a few beetle holes if you look at those uh, oh. a few beetle holes um they appear to be older and the way we're able to kind of you know come up with that um is we look at the hole itself and that hole appears to be a little bit dirty um usually if it's a fresh beetle hole you could see the the fresh bore um of those so i mean we're gonna keep in mind that beetles at some point were here uh so we're you know throughout the crawl space we'll kind of keep an eye out for that as well um this foundation uh, this might be the original foundation down here, uh -huh. and then they've capped it over. So you got a uh, you got a, a another foundation that was poured over the original foundation, and they probably did that because it, it's more likely it's not cracked in multiple areas. And usually, if the foundation's not cracked, they'll just kind of go over it. <laughs> so it looks like you got some retrofitting uh, earthquake uh, shear walls here. Um, you never know what might be going on behind it. It's always kind of a good idea to come out and see if you see anything. I can see that barrier behind the, uh, the shingles out there. It looks pretty decent. Uh, what do you see? So, a little damp. Mm. A little bit of, you know, moist soil beneath the, this plastic, which is a good idea. That this well, good thing that this plastic's here because it's helping keep all this down and off of all this framing up here so you know dampness in the crawl space um you know it shouldn't be happening but it's a common thing and there isn't much we can do about it especially around these parts yeah there's actually a river a couple blocks away and i ah, think there's a high water table here super high water table in this area for sure um so i mean that's just something people you know, a lot of people have uh, moisture underneath their house, but, you know, the plastics always, you know, keeps the humidity down and the moisture levels down. Mm -hmm. It's all redwood, redwood joists, redwood framing. Uh, typically, it takes a lot for, for a termite to do any kind of damage to redwood. Mm. Yeah, they just don't go after this stuff. They'll go for, for the softer wood. You can see this is all solid solid timber here um always a good idea to keep those off the off the soil any piece of wood or cardboard or paper always a good idea to get that off or remove it and you can just see here uh that somebody's oh. marked this thing throughout the years just kind of mm. meaning subterranean mm -hmm. it looks like maybe a little bit of uh a little bit of damaged uh sheathing here do I need to get rid of these, or I know that normally says if you can rake it, so. So, the fact that this is over the plastic is no big deal. Uh-huh. Um, in, in, in another situation, if it was kind of piled up like this and sitting on the dirt, and then with the moisture that's down here throughout the years, I'm sure it will develop some, uh, a little bit of fungus. Mm. So, always a good idea to, you know, 
can blow it off. Yeah. But uh, if, you know, if it's accumulated like in a in a little pile, it might be a problem. Okay. I have one little beetle hole, two little beetle holes there. Nothing active looking. Uh, we're just gonna document we're seeing beetle holes. How often do you see live beetles in your inspections? Is that common? You know what? You'll you will you will rarely see a live beetle out of out of their where they're usually at. Beetles they usually live embedded in wherever wood they're at. Mm -hmm. So rarely do they come out. Oh. So you won't see a beetle kind of crawling around uh, like you might with a termite. Occasionally you might see a termite crawling around. Um, but uh, beetles, they don't do that. Hey, how do you like that um, artisanal piling here? Look. <laughs> there it's we go. Like it, <laughs> back from the Ohlone Indians. Right. Using <laughs> rocks and sticks. Old school foundations uh -huh. there. Um, I mean, <laughs> you got other support, so yeah, I know. no touring. <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, the fact that it's really not meant to to support too much, because if you look here, this is where it should have been, mm. but obviously it's kind of in the way. Uh huh. So technically, whoa! But if you could see, that's the mud sill. Mm. Termites all over it. At one point, they they destroyed it. So we're gonna say this should be replaced. This should be replaced. You know, something should be done about this. Maybe supporting it here. Um, but it looks like um, they didn't replace any of that stuff. So we'll yeah. see what might be going on on the outside, and then we might recommend a little repair here. Um. So do you ever use wood filler <laughs> when uh, it's wood okay? Wood is a no-no in our industry. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? Um, <laughs> huh. You never want to use wood filler on dry rot. Oh. Um, and especially if it's something, you know, st structural. It's not that bad. It looks a lot worse than, than, than what it is. But all you would have to do really is come out and scrape all that stuff off, clean it up, because all of that wood is almost solid. Um, this appears to be original portion of foundation. Mm -hmm. So we definitely, if you can see it, it's definitely deteriorated, crumbly, uh, porous, uh, but the mud silt appears to be okay. Till this gets damaged, we wouldn't say to do anything to the foundation unless there's like water seeping in or something like that. Uh, but if, if you look, pretty dry right adjacent to the foundation. So nice and dry. I don't think this is a problem right now. So when you see just a couple beetle holes here and there, is that not like, I shouldn't tent, yeah. tent the house? Yeah, because... no, not yet. <laughs> okay. Usually when I'm done with my inspection, uh, you know, if I don't find anything that I think is active, you know, I just mentioned to them that I saw some older beetle holes that don't appear to be active. Oh. And we have quite a bit of holes to go out. But, and these appear to be, these are a lot cleaner than those, than those other ones. Uh, but, I don't see it. I don't see it moved on. That there's holes on the subfloor. Mm -hmm. So it's really just this one here. Huh. Um, so technically, technically, this can be removed. In case they're living in it. Yep. Because they never go oh, away. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of holes. That's a lot of holes. Yeah. It's all the way over there. But but like I said, you don't see it kind of extending onto this. So it's really localized to this piece of wood. For some reason, they just love this piece. I wonder, is there any chance the beetles were in the wood when they put installed it a hundred years? So it happens. Uh huh. Um, but usually it doesn't look like this. It's gonna look like that other stuff up there where it looks kind of dirty and dark. Uh huh. It might just be that piece. There's beetles all back here as well. All right, is it? Is tenting the only way to get rid of beetles? So, um, tenting is the best way to get rid of beetles. If you have them or if you don't, or 
you know, if there's a chance that you do have them, you'll never actually be 100% sure. There's a huge pile of like sawdust in that niche there. Right. I need to get um, rid of that. Right. Not really a problem. Oh. This is more of a concern than that because it's elevated um, and that's not caused by a termite or anything mm. like that. So essentially, yeah, it's just debris, but it's not too worrying only when they're, it's on soil. Okay. So that's why these Great. guys, they kind of leave the stuff laying around. So it's the white on the foundation. Is that <laughs> fungus? Um, so what it is, it's, it's the salt because the foundation um, is porous. Mm. You look at it, it's only like this softer type of wood, never mm. really on the good stuff. Hmm. Um, oh, is it like that one piece? Yeah. It's if you can like see, it, there's nothing. Wow. So they just really like this piece and they won't eat oh. at anything else. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Remove that. Yeah, kind of getting it out of here is a, is a good idea. So, so far, everything that we're seeing, um, even though... It has beetle holes and even though there's that chance that you know with one beetle you know this kind of stuff could continue to happen uh -huh. uh, it's really localized to these pieces that are not even really playing a role in the structural yeah. kind of part of the house weird so it's really got no purpose here yeah it'd be a good idea to get that out of there Okay, here's a test to see if there are termites yeah, in this termite door tip. frame. Uh, grab a key, good size key, and just kind of tap around and check for solidness. You can use a screwdriver, whatever you want. Uh, just kind of poke at it and see if, if you feel any soft spots. And also kind of looking around to see if you see any soil or any dirt or any of that, or dry rot or signs of moisture is always uh, something to look for when looking for termites. Uh, you can see this is the jam here. It's got mm -hmm. some good paint on it. Good paint on it. We just painted. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, this trim I think is okay. A lot of people get that misconception that orange oil, if they spray orange oil, it's gonna kill the termites. <laughs> the thing is that the termites, they don't live here. They're, they, they come here and they eat and they destroy the wood. <laughs> But they don't live here. They can't. They can't sustain themselves living in the framing like the beetles do, or the drywood termites. So the subterranean termites, they come, they'll do their damage and kind of destroy all this, and then they'll go back down. So if you go and you spray something here, technically, when the majority of the termites are underneath the ground, you're not doing anything. <laughs> okay. Underneath the ground, you're still gonna have that colony down there, and they're just gonna go elsewhere and that kind of thing. Oh, uh, to the other door. Right, because you have to think. <laughs> Underneath, underneath the ground, there isn't any borders. There isn't like your neighbor's fence or anything mm. like that. So they're free to go wherever they sense something's going on. So they're underneath the ground, they're just traveling everywhere. <laughs> so we live amongst termites. Uh, so technically, you know, anywhere is free game for them to come eat. Uh, what we want to do is keep everything that's above and inside your foundation uh, to be you know, uh, covered and to be, uh, you know, safe, essentially. Okay. Mm. But like I said, that beam that was about right here, when I poked that, it was solid, you know? So, I mean, at the moment, there, you know, there's that, a little bit of damage to that sheathing, but it's, the beam's okay. Before treating, if you can, kind of fixing those little uh, moisture entry points, because a lot of people, you know, oh, they got termites, but yeah, they got a bunch of damage as well. So when we go to treat, yeah, we're treating it for the moment, but long-term, that area is gonna continue to be a problem and they're just gonna come back. 